so according to this question we have a point P is 15 mm above the HP and 20 mm in front of VP and another point Q is 25 mm behind the VP and 40 mm below the HP so we have information about two points and after project so we need to draw the projector 1 that is of P and projector 2 of Q then draw the projections of P and Q keeping the distance between the projectors is equal to 90 mm so distance between these two projectors is 90 mm and we need to draw the straight lines joining the top views of P and Q and joining the front views of P and Q so this is the question so let us uh, construct so before which we shall uh, shorten this question so first we shall write about P so according to the question P 15 mm above HP so 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front 20 mm in front and coming to point Q point Q is 25 mm behind VP 25 mm behind and 40 mm below 40 mm below ok and the projector's distance is 90 mm so let us draw a line let us consider this as our xy reference line ok I am going to draw the first projector over here and the projector to projector distance is going to be 90 mm, 90 mm in the sense 90 centimeters. So we need to draw the first projector over here and the second projector over here. Okay, right. So according to the question, let us check. These are the four coordinates. Now let us check the point P. Fifth point P is 15 mm above HP and 20 mm in front of VP. So we have the combination as above in front. So above in front in this sense, the point is going to lie in the first quadrant. So this is capital P. So let us put dotted from the plane. So this distance is coming from HP. So above HP distance is 15 mm, and this distance is coming from VP 20 mm in front of VP. So now we need to check the front view and this is going to be our top view. So the front view is going to be P dash and this distance is nothing but the opposite distance. So it is 15 and if I see the top view and we are going to get P over here. If I join this the opposite distance is nothing but 20 mm. Right. So P dash that is the front view. No, P dash that is the front view is uh, above XY reference line which is at a distance of 15 mm. So let us draw that one first. So we have P dash. Okay. The distance is mm and the second part is that top view is on a horizontal plane on rotating the horizontal plane in clockwise direction that is in this direction this is going to move upwards so as this part comes downwards P is going to move downwards that is at a distance of 20 mm from XY reference line so from XY reference line the distance is about 20 mm so this is the required point So this is 20 mm. Right guys. So let us check about the second one. So we have the second question. Point Q is 25 mm behind and 40 mm below. 
so behind and below so behind and below in the sense it is going to be in the third quadrant so this is going to be capital Q so let us keep the dotted lines and so this is below and this is behind so behind is 25 and below is 40 okay so now we are going to see the front view in this way top view in this manner so front view is going to be q dash so this distance is 40 and top view is going to be q and this distance is nothing but 25 right so on the vertical plane we have q dash that is below x y reference line which is at a distance of 40 mm so let us draw that is q dash which is at a distance of 40 mm and on rotating the horizontal plane this 25 mm is going to move upwards so 25 mm upwards so above xy reference line here we are going to get small q this is going to be 25 mm so as per the question also we had that uh, so draw the projections of P and Q keeping the distance between the projectors is equal to 90 mm so we kept the projectors distance is 90 mm and we need to draw the straight lines joining their top views and we need to join their front views so the top view of the top view of P is going to be this is going to be small p and the top view of Q is going to be small q so we need to join these top views and we need to join this front views so let us join this for top views and front views so this is our required answer for the question and the distance between the projectors has to be designated as 90 mm so we can directly designate over here as 90 mm clear guys so let us move for the next question